that I'm so excited to be able to share with you today on Psych2Go's YouTube channel, awesome channel, and I'm even more excited because I get to share on a topic that I find really interesting and that is near and dear to my heart. We're gonna talk about the eight ways that we're making ourselves sick by perfectionism. Any recovering perfectionists out there? <laughs> So the information I'm about to share with you comes from a Psych2Go article written by editor Jenny Kang, and the article references Dr. Seas. Dr. Seas is the director of the Center of Psychological and Behavioral Science in Florida, and these are his eight signs of maladaptive perfectionism. And if you don't know what maladaptive perfectionism is, it basically means that while perfectionism at times yields positive results, at the end of the day, it only hurts us. So here they are. Here are the eight ways we're making ourselves sick by perfectionism. And why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up when you hear of a behavior that you can relate to. Number one, you check and recheck and recheck your work repeatedly for typos, misspellings, and errors. You worry about what might happen if you accidentally overlook a mistake. Number two, or you avoid checking for mistakes altogether because you know if you do, it's gonna cause you to check and recheck and recheck. Number three, despite your multiple revisions, you never feel like your work is quite right. You spend more time thinking or searching for that perfect word than you do writing. Number four, you never feel like you should get started on a project unless you have the time to finish it in one sitting. Okay guys, how you doing out there? I know some of this is hard to hear. If it were me, I could pretty much be thumbsing up every single point so far. Moving on, number five, you actually spend more time preparing for a project so that could mean you're organizing yourself, you're gathering resources and background information, then you actually do working on the project itself. Number six, or you spend so much time trying to pick the perfect topic that you never actually work on the project. Number seven, you habitually miss deadlines because you constantly underestimate the amount of time and effort to complete a project. Number eight, you're extremely critical of others and yourself. Okay guys, well that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. Comment below, tell me, which one of these behaviors did you relate to most? I can't wait to read it and definitely we'll be chatting with you in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Psych2Go's YouTube channel, like this video and share it with someone who you think it will really help. Thanks so much for watching and love you guys. Bye.